feel or what it mean to you guys to just you know, kind of give away the lead but then find the resilience and get back and, and be able to pull it out the way that you guys did at the end there? Just had to work for it. It's the NBA. Um, some of them going to look like that, you know, where you, you play with the game a little bit or not do everything you're supposed to do and you find a way to get the dub. It's the NBA, man. It can, it can go any way, any night. How did you feel in the fourth quarter and what, what just was really allowing you to, to have the effectiveness from a shot-making standpoint that you did? Come on, man. Y'all, y'all seen it before, man. Humbly speaking, man, I feel like I just try to come alive no matter how the game's going in the fourth. You know, those last few minutes, I just, I don't know, I try to make something out of nothing a lot of the times. And, and that's when it kind of works for me, you know, throughout the game, trying to make something out of nothing or whatnot, maybe a turnover or just not go in my favor. But in you know, the fourth, it just seems a little more open. Do you do you feel a little something different inside you in those moments? Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, just the, just the confidence level, you know, like I said, I try to. Coaches don't like me manipulating the game, but um, throughout the game, I try to see what's working or what's not working. And um, I'm a high risk taker, so it might lead to a turnover, like I said, or it might not lead to what we're looking for sometimes. But um, once I figure it out and I get it going, it it usually seems to open up in the fourth. And um, just mental notes throughout the game to allow it to open up in the fourth. And just in general, over the last couple of weeks here, it seems like are you bringing a different kind of energy or trying sure. to exert that a little bit more to, to get you guys going in the right direction? I'm just trying to stay on the floor. Um, whatever coach is asking for, I'm trying to do a little bit of that just to stay on the floor. Um, even if it's not really my personnel, just trying to do everything, give it my all just to be on the floor. Leslie, what do you think of Big Fella tonight, Rudy, and the way that he played and kind of on both ends of the floor for yeah. you guys tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's what he does. Um, I mean, he can hold down a top 10, 15 uh, defense he can hold it down all by itself, you know. And um, when we make it easier for him, it allows him to make it easier for us. And um, we're slowly seeing that throughout the season. You mentioned how this is like some nights in the NBA where you have to kind of gut it out. For this team, though, is there something to just learning how to win in clutch games like this that you guys have to develop as, as a group yeah. that maybe tonight was helpful for? I mean, I've seen this every year um, that I've been in a league where either a young team that's trying to figure it out, um, not realizing that it's that one little play that can um, d- dictate the game, if it's that box out or that foul or that turnover, anything like that. And um, like I said, just trying not to be that guy. And if everybody's mentality is trying not to be that guy, and what I mean by that is on film, when coach pauses the film, don't be that guy that's in the wrong. And um, when you think like that and think about it during the midst of the flow of the game, it allows you to just be in the game, you know, and locked in. And um, it's helped for me when I was a little young. When I, a few years ago, I figured that out. But like I said, we, we got some young players that is figuring it out right now. So um, <clears throat> try to stay on them with my voice and, and let them, you know, hear that, you know, especially when the game's on the line. What does it mean for you to manipulate the game? And it seems like it would be a positive thing if you were to man- manipulate it. It can, or, or. it can it can mess up the flow. So I understand where coach is coming from. Kind of like Chris Paul. Chris Paul kind of controls the game with, you know, um, with his flow. You know, and it's, it may not be um, him shooting all the shots or dominating the ball, but just, you know, controlling the game. Um, playing with a fast pace. Uh, taking the ball out quick. In the bonus, trying to, you know, kind of utilize that if that's the refs on your side or just somebody has a fourth foul trying to do something get them the fifth one just things like that to kind of that I'm thinking about as the game's going versus kind of what everybody else is thinking about I apologize if this has been asked already but when you have the fourth quarter and you understand that the team needs shooting does a lot of it come down to how you're feeling, knowing whether or not you're going to be in a rhythm or not or anything? Does that factor into it, or is it simply that you just have to go with the odds and go with what you think needs to be done and whether or not you can do it? I mean, it depends on if the ball is in my hand at that time or if I'm off the ball. Um, if I'm off the ball, I'm kind of reading the game from a different perspective. If the ball is in my hand, I'm kind of trying to either get the guy the ball that may you know, need it in that time. So... Um, just fig- like I said, figuring out a flow throughout the game, taking mental notes throughout the first and the second and third quarter that, you know, may not have worked throughout that that span, but um, in the fourth quarter kind of opened up, you know, so, yeah. There have been obviously games last year and a few this year where the fourth quarter has been yours, you know, 18 points or whatever it is tonight. 
uh, three of your four threes were in the fourth quarter. Is some of that just rising to the moment? Is it like one of those things that, you know, an embrace of the moment kind of? Yeah, thing? yeah, definitely. It's a mentality. Um, I mean, I mean, I always try to attack those um, those moments versus kind of sitting back and letting it happen. Um, I believe in myself that much. So um, when the game or whenever, if need be, whatever needs be, I try to be the guy if I can to to, to have my hands on it. Um, if it's not shooting a shot, it's making a pass, you know. So just just I just believe in myself that much over anybody. So um, it's just picking and choosing. Yeah, it seems like uh, Anthony Edwards is sort of finding a, a comfort level the last few games. Uh, you spoke about him after the game. Uh, like, what did you, what have you seen from him the past few games that that has impressed you, um, and that has led to the success? I mean, I'm more impri- I'm more impressed with his consistency. Honestly, um, he's he's becoming a pro. You know, um, when you're young in the league, you got to learn how to be a pro if you don't come from maybe the collegiate level that's kind of preparing you for it. And he was a one-and-done guy, so he didn't really get the opportunity, kind of like me. Um, so him being in the league at a young age, he's learning how to be a pro on and off the floor, and you can see the development, um, him him, him um, focusing on his craft and his consistency with his, with his routine. I think that's what's allowing him to be consistent the way he is. Tonight, he was kind of banged up early. I wasn't sure how he was going to play it out, but, man, he came through and um, – he led, we follow. As the primary defend, I mean, defender, primary ball handler, can you just talk about how do you know when to attack, when to get your teammates involved? You have 15 in the fourth, but when do you know exactly when it's takeover time? It's hard, man. Throughout the game, I'm trying to get my teammates involved. It's just how I play um, because I know sooner or later it's going to open up for me. And um, that's where you see kind of the turnover. I mean, I have a few careless ones, but a lot of turnovers are for me trying to be a risk taker and get guys the ball, get guys open, and feel like when they're running or when they cut, when they're open, they're going to receive it. And just trying to develop that chemistry with guys, knowing that when I got the ball, look for it. And then throughout the game, uh, teams may be playing for me to pass, and that's when it opens up my scoring ability. Thank you. Yep. Cool. Appreciate y'all. Yep. Coco Five.